Hey guys, welcome to Fire Foods. In this video, I'll be showing you an easy and simple recipe for baked salmon and chimichurri sauce, and I'll also be making a side of roasted vegetables to go with it. Exact measurements will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed this recipe, like the video, click that subscribe button, and also make sure to click the bell to get notified when a new video is up. Finally, comment down below what other recipes you want to see next. Alright, let's make some fire foods. To start, cut an onion into thin slices, then do the same with a lemon. On a baking tray, add the onions, brush the salmon with melted butter, and then it's time for seasoning. I'll be seasoning the salmon with garlic powder, lemon pepper, and salt. Then place the lemon slices around the salmon. Place the salmon into the oven and bake it at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. While the salmon is in the oven, I'll be preparing some vegetables. First, cut up some small potatoes in halves. Then I'll be cutting some zucchini into medium sized slices. Then cut one red bell pepper. And finally, cut one carrot into small even slices. Place everything into a bowl, then add olive oil, garlic powder, salt, pepper, dried oregano, then mix well. Place the vegetables on a baking tray with aluminum foil on top and spread them evenly to make sure they all cook the same. Then put the vegetables in the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. Take out the salmon from the oven and brush it with melted butter and put it in the oven on broil till it's golden brown. Then add some fresh parsley and dough on top. Also, I'll be making an amazing chimichurri sauce to go on top of the salmon, and it will elevate the flavor to a whole new level. First, dice one red bell pepper, and prepare one cup of fresh parsley that is finely diced. In a bowl, add the fresh parsley, diced bell pepper, one tablespoon dried oregano, four cloves of minced garlic, half tablespoon red wine vinegar, salt, two tablespoons of olive oil, and mix well. Transfer everything into a small container and top it off with olive oil and it's ready. Now all you have to do is to put the sauce on top of the salmon and enjoy. Try this recipe out and I'm sure you're gonna love it. If you enjoyed the video guys, please make sure to like, subscribe and click the bell to get notified for upcoming new videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.